Thanks, Gina. Well, it wasn't in the forecast, but apparently it's about to snow in the valley this morning. Kind of, but this is something good. This morning, some kids are getting a special snow day, and we are talking about four tons of powder. Monica joining us live this morning at the Foundation for Blind Children near 12th Street in Northern with more. She's ready with her sleigh or her sled. <laughs> sleigh, sled, bring it on. Yeah, we're talking snow angels, snowball fights, and sledding. You hear that noise? That's because they're pumping in the snow. Officially, I said, guys, we go live pretty soon. I'm going to need to see some snow. And so do the kiddos when they come out here and experience it. Here it comes. And I have Jared here. We are at the Foundation for Blind Children. What are we doing today? Today we're creating snow day in Phoenix for our students. So as you can see, uh, in the valley, we're actually having there snow goes. is coming out right now. So we have about four tons of snow that is going to be on the field and create that sensory experience for our students to be able to have that real life snow day here in Phoenix, Arizona. That's one thing we all complain about here in the valley. It's gorgeous weather, but when it's near perfect weather, we want something else. This is real ice though, by the way. It is real ice and our students get to have that full sensory experience of going down um, on a sled, being able to make snow angels, being able to make snowballs and enjoy it just like any other student. Awesome. Okay, so uh, I'll have Ricky B pan to the left because there's also therapy ponies here. There are therapy ponies. So any snow day wouldn't be complete without the therapy ponies as well to pull you through that carriage ride through the snow. And talk to me about the reaction. I mean, year after year, you guys have done this, brought in tons of snow here at Central Phoenix. What do the kiddos say? Year after year, this is one of the most popular events. This is that opportunity where uh, you may not be able to be have a snow day at school, and we get to create that for all of our students. Okay, I love it. So, guys, check it out. How long does it take for them to fill, fill this uh, field? This is going to be about 20 minutes, and then Woo! we're going to see a full snow day. Okay, guys, so we're going to hang out here for the next hour. I know that April has been saying the highs are in the 70s, but I don't know if she's talking about Central Phoenix because we got our <laughs> no. sleds out here. The kiddos are going to be happy, and uh, we got the ponies. This is where it's at. Such a great cause. And these kiddos from preschool to grade school age are just going to have one of, the, one of those uh, snow days that folks here in the Valley, we're not used to. April, what do you think about this? I love it. It wasn't in the forecast, but it's amazing. What a great experience for those kids. Monica, thank you. One thing is for sure, it's snowing in the Valley. Yeah, in the Valley. Kind of. Some very special kids are getting a very special snow day. And Monica Garcia is out live in Phoenix where four tons of the white stuff is falling as we speak. Monica, good morning. Good morning. You know, this isn't Mount Everest. I know you guys are confused, but it is Mount Foundation for the Blind Children. And that's where file, uh, four tons of snow has been trucked in and they're already having a good time. Jared, what's going on? So this morning it snowed in Phoenix and it all landed here at the Foundation for Blind Children. So our classrooms are coming out and enjoying a good old fashioned snow day. Okay, and I'm also checking out the therapy animals. We got all kinds of therapy dogs and therapy ponies. And this little guy right here is so her. He's your student, three years old, having a good time. Talk to me about why this is so important for the sensory of these children. It's such a great opportunity, especially because we live in Phoenix, for our kiddos to use all of their senses to explore this new experience that they wouldn't have otherwise. Um, it's also a great way to work on the Expanded Core Curriculum, which is a curriculum designed specifically for children with visual impairments to learn their skills that their sighted peers learn incidentally. So things like recreation, leisure skills, and independent living skills. Okay, can we just give it up to Sahar, uh, really close to this therapy dog? Look at dog. this. He's, <laughs> He's clapping his hands. So what's been his reaction? I honestly thought he wouldn't like the snow. He's very tactically defensive, but today he's been playing with the snow with his bare hands. He's oh. been petting all the animals. He's been doing a great job exploring. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. He does have a big smile on his face. So we have to mention, Jerry, this is real snow out here. It real is. ice. It's real cold. Real ice, real snow. You can make snowmen, you can make snowballs, you can do snow angels. All of it is real. 
Okay, and we also have to give a shout out to the ponies over there in the corner. We do. A snow day would not be complete without our therapy ponies. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Again, guys, Mount Everest has landed in the middle of central Phoenix. They do this out here every year. I think this is 15 years in a row, putting smiles on these kiddos' faces and just making everybody chuckle out here with all the little uh, the sounds when they touch the snow and they go, oh! <laughs> it really is. Back to you guys. Aww. Like you said, their smile says it all. Absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm.